what sold me on this movie is uh, somebody made a post on Twitter about comparing it to Event Horizon. Like, oh, I saw that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like they were like ripping off the concept of one of these stories. And like they said, this movie does it better. Oh, yeah. Like, OK. Yeah. I was watching. I, I saw that tweet as well. And I thought the clips that they were showing were pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I really like Event Horizon. It's a good movie. I don't think oh, it's yeah. a, a good movie, but sure. I don't. It's it's sh uh, it's schlock. Explain, it's it's kind of elitist it's, or something. It's total schlock. <laughs> Some other time, let's watch the movie. Fine. Okay, fine. No, two hours. <laughs> it's not two hours. It's under two hours. Uh huh. I have a retro crush on you. That was a cool way to do the title. Yeah, that was cute. Pulling out. Two hours of pulling out. Help, I'm stuck. The pulling out only takes seconds, but the rest of the time is just spent apologizing. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. sorry. Sorry for the memories, sorry for the memories. <laughs> <laughs> Will you walk funny on purpose tomorrow for me, please? I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you know about apologizing, Jeremy? Oh. I apologize all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can go for a Corona about now. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? Damn. Damn. The joke, the joke gets fire as time goes on. Yes. Joke. <laughs> funny joke. Alicia has that tattoo. I wish I had the confidence to just wear overalls all the time and nothing else. Yeah, that takes a lot. Where do these people come up with these ship designs is astonishing to me. The ship is very alien. Kind of like the Nostromo. Yeah. Clothes on. Sorry. Looks like a Disney character, like, it's not supposed yeah. to be there. The Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, Look just, at that thing. It just looks like a car part to me. The soundtrack's cool. Yeah. yeah it's dope. Well, that looks cool. I wonder how they did that. This is probably the Event Horizon one, right? Well, we're going in some kind of derelict nugget here. Yeah. Nice octaves, Alicia. Hey, you're welcome. Now, these guys are supposed to be like trash men, right? And they're fucking... Yeah, they're like salvage. Yeah. They're heavily armed. Well, it's just a hot glue gun. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow, look at that. The red marble is shining now. Nice to see chandeliers made it all the way to the space salvager age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very important. Really pretty. Miguel, no. You're too horny, Miguel. She's a space siren, no! This is like some Solaris shit that's gonna be happening, right? Yeah. No, they gotta be hallucinating. Oh, no! Oh, no. no. oh God, Miguel. Oh, shit. Oh, God. The statue bebe. Uh-huh. Yikes. You would eat the lunch out of that bowl, dude. Don't fucking lie. I would destroy that thing right away. And it's penis. Oh, he's floating on a bowl, too. <laughs> Probably shouldn't eat any of this. I don't even took my fucking helmet off. Ooh. Don't drink that. Fucking creepy. Oh, great. Of course. <laughs> of course. Why not? Damn. Oh. That can't be real. I think those crumbling clothes were definitely real, though. What? Space gas. He's getting nitrogen bubbles in his brain. She left him flowers. I don't think Jasmine would appreciate that. Jasmine, hmm. Because he looks like Aladdin. I will crumble your dress. I will breathe noxious space gas. <laughs> Can't even finish the song because he's already dead. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I will strip. I love all the detail put in these uh, old anime. Oh, it's just tremendous. Yo, oh. shit! Look at the photo. It's Spooky. like it's like current him too. <laughs> yeah, space gas. Oh, I'm done. He looks pretty dope. Nico, you dropped your doll. No. Chandelier. Oh. That sounds super creepy. Oh. And there she goes. No! She's in the That's mirror! Oh, it's like moldy. Oh. I thought that was coming from her nipples. 
kind of jerk makes a woman cry? You guys ever made a woman cry? Yes. Or yeah. lactate? <laughs> Have you ever made a woman lactate? <laughs> yeah. My mom, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I was bottle fed. Oh, what the fuck? That looks great, man. The Dark Souls crypt. Okay, the mag field is kicking up, so shit's about to go down. I like this, like, degraded crypt. Oh, oh yeah. So is that the way the house actually looks, or are they somewhere else? Oh, oh, God, oh on the no! no! Oh, I thought he was gonna fall super fucking far. This is awesome. That's a massive fucking piano, man. You can't play that it's shit. all lit up. That's creepy. This looks amazing. Yeah, it's fucking dope. You've all seen Akira, right? Nope. No? Yeah. Damn. Long, long time ago. I don't watch that. Yeah, long. I could show you <laughs> the blue. I knew it. Dre, Dre was right. Damn. Oh, God. Open mouth, too. Yeah, what's he really kissing? Oh, it's gonna be bad. A skeleton. He's probably just having a stroke or something. <laughs> he should have heard a woman's throat. voice, though. Oh, yeah. It could be a supernatural thing. We could be dealing with ghosts. Wow, this animation must have taken so fucking long. Well, that's what I was saying. Nah, because they don't really value the lives of the people who work on it. They have a deadline. Emphasis on dead. It's a penis. It's a condom. It's a condom. It's a condom. Oh, God. Oh, the goop. Everything's made out of marshmallow fluff. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's cool. Wow. What I was seeing on Twitter. Oh! oh God. Oh, God. God. I like the opera music in the background still. Oh, it's just wonderful. Oh, they're shooting laser. <laughs> wow. Whoa! Take that! God, he's going into the goop crypt. Oh, oh no. Yeah, just nothing. Damn it! He's in the syrup. Maybe you think, like, the goo has something to do with it? You put your helmet back on, maybe? Oh, is it alive? Oh, God. Dark Souls boss. It's eating the pod. You guys should just fly away. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Yeah, unattach yourself. Remind me to never go on a spaceship with you guys. <laughs> yeah. The second Fuck there's germ, a problem, fuck germ, we're out of here. Great. He's having sex with goo. No, I mean, I wouldn't say leave, at least just... I'll be fine, I got the goo. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. You got the little, uh, little baby angel. Yeah, Rolls I'll hang out with the cupids forever. Oh, look at that. I still feel like they're gonna, like, reveal her as, like, a real old lady. Like, the hologram's gonna slip or something, and... Whoa! That looks great. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. Oh no. Uh, goo. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Yikes. Waiting for the head split. Man, she's trying so hard to get him to stay. Oh, oh god. Oh. god. Oh. Oh, get owned. A robot. Oh, freaky. Weird how he only apologized to Heinz, cause fuck Miguel, I guess. Yeah, Miguel's gone. <laughs> He's off in the fucking shining ballroom somewhere. Yeah, but how does overalls know that? Wow. That's Madame Butterfly, isn't it? Hell, I don't know opera. Sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's getting fucking shot out into space. I wonder if she killed herself. I don't know if it's a ghost thing and it's just a haunted ship, or if it's like she uploaded her consciousness. Yeah. To... Mm. The robot. I mean, it could be either. It could be both, maybe. Yeah, that's her corpse there. That looks uh, great. You were kind of right, Jeremy. <laughs> God, that looks so 3D though. Does like like CG 3D? It does. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it is some kind of really early 3D. I'm just telling to the music. Still alive. Oh, they're in his helmet? That was very sweet. Is this the next one? Yep, I think so. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought there'd be credits and then the next one. Okay, I get it. That, was, that first one was awesome. That was really good. Yeah, that was good. Different characterization, more cartoony looking characters. Stink bomb, the stinkiest weapon. Hmm. It's a really ugly character. What the hell? Oh. Oh, look at that little guy. 
It's Jeremy. Oh, he's the only one that survived, but he killed everyone probably from that pill. Yeah, he probably can't smell nothing. This is a really stupid premise, by the way. What, that somebody at a lab accidentally turns themselves into a st stink bomb? Yeah, it's stupid. Why? Maybe it gets, maybe it's better. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. What's wrong with it? Fucking stupid. <laughs> Why? Okay. Um, I mean, yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. up for me. God. That is self-evident truth. I'll hold Dre's beer. Um, he, he means... I don't know what he means. Not the smartest idea. Why not tell him to stay put? Imagine someone just walking by, crop dusting, and then... She, and then you're dead? like 30 people. <laughs> That's like a side effect of the medication. You can't ever admit that it was you who farted. He's just denying it the whole time. Oh! Oh, shit. His stink cone must be gigantic. Why is this in the same fucking anthology as the other one we just watched? Makes no sense. It's beautiful. Yeah, he's sweaty as fuck. Mom's spaghetti. You know what? I hate the smell of Parmesan cheese. What about blue cheese, Jeremy? That's like one genetic signifier away from being athlete's foot. Well, I'm not gonna send you my blue cheese collection anymore. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, even with the gas mask. No, why? No. No, it was a countermeasure. I knew he was going to say that. Oh, wow, you can really see it now. <laughs> Jesus. It is kind of coming off of him, too, a little bit. Stupid. Dre, you really got, like, a prejudice against <laughs> smelly stories, I guess. I don't know. It's just stupid. What? It is a bit comical. The way well, yeah, it. obviously, they're trying to be kind of funny with it, but... It's stupid, man. He's like a hapless guy, sticks his face in the camera. Help! He's incredibly dumb for a lab worker, man. I think that's why Dre doesn't like this movie. No, I think it's just the stink bomb concept. It's not pretentious enough. Yeah, we just watched Magneto and Rose. It was fucking great. It was great. And I will say that it's it better serious. than this so far, but I don't dislike this. It's like going from Blue Velvet to Troll 2. Assuming that he took the sample. What do you mean assuming? Come on now. It's pretty evident. Oh, oh my god. Sweat. You were fucking right, you fuck. This movie is just as obnoxious as a fart smell. I don't see Maybe what's... this is supposed to be like Japanese government satire, like with fucking Shin Godzilla. I don't think this is bad. Okay, Jeremy. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Jerome's about to get up in this bitch. Oh, shit. Jerome. No, they're gonna take out Grandma! Oh, him. Okay. <laughs> Shoot him. Shoot him! Oh, God. I'm telling you not to go to Tokyo. Why are you still going? He's not fucking bright. What was that? Missiles? Why is everybody after me? Why am I so stupid? Oh, my God. If he survives this, this is the worst movie ever. I swear to God. He's he's a hapless hero. He's gonna survive it. I would think with the way, you know, he he's causing plants to react, you could drop him in a desert somewhere and, you know, make a paradise. You can use him for good. Stop! The wind would carry that shit. Yeah. She's fucking right. Maybe if I was in his position, I, I would prefer a nice, flowery environment with not so many people. Jeremy, are you, are you related to Stink Man? Are you related? Yeah, quite a bit. I love you, Stink Man. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid! I want this to end already. No. You're coming around to my point of view, I see. He agreed with you from the beginning. I thought it was he was going to turn to some bizarre creature or something. But no, he's just a fucking idiot. Come on, what is this? It's supposed to be comedy, I think, Nico. It's, it's not even funny, though. It's satire. How about the shit tire? It's fire bombing the city. I still think the animation looks great. The animation is great, but damn it. <laughs> Alicia, no! They can't just lead their missiles, like... <laughs> See, there you go. It's scrambling the integrated circuits. They can't wow. do shit. Makes perfect sense. They're scrambling my bullet projection. No! Just drop a nuke already. Damn, a nuke? I don't think Japan would be the first country to decide to do that, Nico. Hey, but let me press the button, I'll do it. We just won't go over there for a while, it'll be fine. His head's getting longer! They are gonna nuke, dude. The, yeah, Amer the Americans are- Oh, he. I bet you he's like an American uh, consultant. Yeah. 
Well, he had a US pin on his shoulders and stuff. It worked before, man. I'll do it again. <laughs> it didn't work before! <laughs> That's probably the best thing. Oh man, I'm gonna bomb the shit out this motherfucking place. <laughs> it worked before, man. Nice black voice. Is it better than Nico's? I don't think I heard Nico's black voice. You have all the may time. Have. You've commented have, on it. Alicia, I talk you about it. I can't girl. recall it. I can't recall it. I'm sending my motherfucking stink troopers, man. <laughs> Stay on target. <laughs> oh, oh damn. Whoa, whoa. Ray tracing on his helmet? It's just a bunch of Febreze they're spraying at him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Look at the double lighting on that. Dude, that's this, sick. This shit looks cool, man. It's like an atomic nose plug. <laughs> Shut up. No! <laughs> He's going super stand. They said it's related to his emotions and they should try to keep him calm. It's the stink Mageddon. Look at that torrent of stink gas. Oh, God. These are just like those big industrial fans that Nico wonders why they turn on whenever he walks in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again. Alicia's double masking whenever I'm around. <laughs> Alicia, why are you cosplaying as a stink trooper? <laughs> what if this was you? Like, what if this ended up being you? What a horrible fucking nightmare. This is me. It's gonna be him. I think Nico might be right. Can't be right. Yeah, I'm a clown some days. I knew it. Whoa, oh. whoa. Yep. Oh! He is no. still he still has no fucking idea. Oh what my god. Idiot. Stupid! <laughs> you fool! That was fucking dog shit. I oh, thought man. it was pretty fun. <laughs> whoa! Yikes. Oh god. Oh. Is he a little goblin? Very Pugsley-ish. I like his room. Okay, kind of raw already. Oh, what is this? Is this a weird 3D hallway? Cannon like fodder. It. City of Cannons. By Katsuhiro Otomo. That was my black voice. How'd I do? <laughs> Beautiful. Aye. Yeah, corpse. I like the hatching. Oh, the animation's unique in this one, too. Are they going to make him join the army at 8? Yes. Oh, Red Rocket. That's what the dad does, I think. Might be what everybody does. Well, I guess what everyone, yeah. <laughs> Concentration camp. KO to enemy. Gun crew. Uh, Something vaguely Russian. Look at that oh, guy, no, he's, he's on amphetamines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a grill, man. They, dude, they all look fucking haggard as fuck. Look at that! Oh my god. Man, I love the scribbly hatchy way that the yeah. art looks too. I mean the books I used to read. What are they fighting? The enemy, I guess. But what enemy? That is the real question. This is an old timey cannon too. Yeah, they're loading yeah. a musket. Holy crap. Who are we even pointing at? They're just pointing at their own city. Go! I imagine they're not really shooting at anybody. I bet it's just like a daily thing that they do. They have a whole economy just based around shooting a cannon once a day. Oh! Look at the harrowed ass faces. Looks pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. I like his theme song. Kind of funny. They all did the, all that work to load the cannon, and he's just gonna go and like press the button. It's kind of. I'm mm. getting like a Final Fantasy vibe from. It's a microcosm of class economics. They did all the work, and he's gonna press the button. He has the medals for the most button presses. That'd be a great. Oh shit! He threw his cage. Oh, fucking <laughs> raw. Oh, he's doing a little dance. All right, let's see what we're shooting at. Oh, Whoa, that's, smoke. that's a neat effect. Oh. Whoa. It's a very dystopian world we're living in. Thank you. Oh, God. oh I'm loud. sorry. I'm sorry. I've been wearing a condom every day for years. <laughs> I'm still wearing it. Ah, that's awful. <laughs> Jeremy's sitting there wearing a condom right now. No. Oh. <laughs> this is the condom factory. We're loading another condom. It's kind of cute looking. I've never had anyone compliment my condom before. Thanks. Oh, shit. He's dead. Sorry, sir. My eyes are sinking into my skull. <laughs> Someone painted that. This looks like Final Fantasy right here. It looks like fucking Dr. Wily's castle to me. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> we don't have enough gun turrets. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's crazy. Damage to the enemy's, the enemy's moving, moving city. city. Whoa, okay. So they're shooting at Howl's moving castle. 
Oh, I missed something. Is this the kid fantasizing? Yeah, it's his drawing. It's his drawing. Really depressing. Oh, it's kind of cute. I mean, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that changed. I mean, it is about war, but I'm just saying the way it's being it's drawn or played is cute. That's how they do it. That's how they get you. Yes, they got you. That's how come they got all them teddy bears in the army. There he is. I don't think that's the same guy. Maybe it's his idol. B, they're all about the guy who fires the gun. The cannon loaders. Oh. They're the peasants. It's a it's a societal microcosm. Mm. Oh boy, a raid. We're gonna die. Or maybe that's <laughs> just like the sound that lulls them to sleep every night. <laughs> Shit, maybe it is. Whoa, that was it? Oh, what the oh. damn. That was an interesting, horrifying, mm -hmm. dystopian nightmare. I kind of wish there was more to it. No, it's not going to be a Marvel ending, Jeremy. You I never think they know. made their point, though. What else is there to say about that dystopian nightmare? Oh, oh boy, we're getting raided. This is so... Do you pronounce that bussin'? I don't even know what that fucking means. Bussin'. All yeah. the kids have been saying that to me lately. Oh, they kids. chase me down the street. You, Jerome, yeah. What kids are saying that to you? They're all, like all the kids. They're like running up to me and they're like, yo, Jerome, what's bussin'? You know? And I'm like, what? Yo, man, that stink cloud behind you's bussin'. Yeah. <laughs> yo, give me some of that, boo. Yo, that, that condom you just ringed out in the toilet. <laughs> that shit was bussin'. Damn, look, he's busted, dude. Whoa. Jeremy uh, drives over to, like, a playground and rings out his <laughs> condom in the grass. <sighs> Jeremy, you still there? You, did he die? God, I hope I never hear anyone say that in a serious tone. What, that my stink cloud is busting? <laughs> I don't think you gotta worry about that, Waldar. It'll never happen. All right, there's not a goddamn post credit sequence, I guess. Uh, Magnetic Rose and the City of Cannons were both really good. Yeah. yeah. I was engaged the whole time. That middle one was stupid, but... It's, it was stinky. It was fine. Let's, I guess let's go through and rate each story. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. Then you uh, start, Nico, since it's so damn easy. I, I, okay, Magnetic Rose, five out of... Stink. Oh. I... Yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, middle one, stinky one was me. Two out of five. Uh, cannon one, uh, four out of five. I'm done. Damn, two out of five, huh? Okay. Uh, whoever goes next, I don't uh, care. In the same order, I'd probably do four, four, three, four. Four, yeah. three, four. Ooh, three. It's very high for. I mean, she likes to stink. What what did what didn't you like about Magnetic Rose that kept it just a four and not a five for you? It didn't wow me. I guess I didn't get that wow factor. Oh, okay. Mm. Like everything I was looking at was like wow, wow, wow. Like I mean, it was visually, good, I don't feel comfortable saying five. Okay, I understand that. I, I don't want to be giving out fives like that either. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dre. Uh, Magnetic Rose. Uh, maybe a four out of five. Yeah, I think because uh, I I don't I don't know I don't really understand like the shit the shit with the uh, like Carlo and uh, she was like she killed him and then she was like you know luring people to the ship so she could have memories with them or I don't know it was good everything about it was really pretty four out of five like you don't but, understand the motivation of why she would it, like be trying to lure yeah. people. She didn't want to be alone. The Discord popped out. Yeah, the only thing I heard was she, yeah, she didn't, didn't want, want to be alone. alone, but then why'd she kill Carlo? Like, I get it if we saw a flashback where Carlo was like, eh, you know, I don't really want to be with you. Well, with we you. don't know for sure if she did kill him. I'm Maybe pretty sure they heavily implied that. But... The guy was like, oh, you killed him. But, you know, if Jeffrey Dahmer killed people because he wanted to keep them with him forever, then you could easily... Okay. Like, that's a pretty... That's a fair point. You know? All right, so... Sweet. I think it could easily really be score. explained as, like, it's a thing where, like, her consciousness has just survived there for so long that, um... I mean, it it's literally... Eventually. It's pulling people into its yeah. memories. So, M Miguel just became Carlo. Just... Just because a good Dahmer point. It's a very, mm -hmm. 
it's 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 a very shining esque type of thing. Like you know, you've always been the caretaker type of a thing. Yeah. It, yeah. It, like I know I know the the tweet thing that inspired me to watch the movie in the first place was talking about how this was so like Event Horizon. I kind of saw it, but really it felt more like Solaris to me. Solaris. Solaris. It's all like The Shining, where it's like. Um kind of party atmosphere but it's not really happening or it happened in the past mm -hmm. yeah that was great i want to say like how uh <laughs> fucking miguel like walked off into the light with all those ghosty goos and we didn't hear anything else from him yeah yeah he's just gone and i also like how the ship got destroyed and it wasn't a happy ending the guy was floating out in space with the roses in his helmet i think bomb one out of five that offered me nothing that was just it wasn't funny and it was just stupid did and the then animation I would, look I'd good? give City of Cannons the same score I gave Magnetic Rose, 4 out of 5. I, I liked it just as much. It was very bleak. The art was really nice. Yeah. yeah. 4 out of 5s and 1 out of 5 in the middle. I couldn't even give that, like, just on the, the strength of the animation and the characterization, I couldn't give that a 1. I get that, but every, That's like, like a, above average. It can look pretty and be dog shit. Like, I don't look at a CGI movie that's like fucking like millions of dollars put into it and it's like immaculate looking and go oh well i have to give this above a two well like if it's fucking bad cgi is different at least for me because like this shit was like hand animated right but y you cgi know? has a lot of man hours in it as well so what do you rate it the well movies? the first the first one magnetic rose was like i think by far my favorite of all three of them uh I, I gotta give that a five because I don't see any like weakness at all. So high. Yeah. Ooh, so raw. I thought it was great. Like I can't I can't think of something to criticize it about. Neither can I really, but I just feel like there's room for it to be better. No, you just have high expectations. The stink bomb? I don't know, man. I I, I gotta I gotta give it a, a, a three, three and a half, something oh, like that. Oh god. It it wasn't Even bad. Alicia. It was it was I mean, fun, kinda cartoony. Yeah, Jerome got you joking, see? <laughs> yeah, that's it why he gave it. Better better towards, it got better towards the end. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like when he was in the tunnel and he was going Super Saiyan. It was fine satire, and and I I don't I don't agree with you guys whenever you say that it doesn't belong because I mean it's a science fiction. Totally it's a science fiction story, you know. Event Event Horizon, at plus The Shining and fucking bleak dystopian war thing, and then you have Stink Bomb in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't fit. You're not the stink of me now. Science, science fictiony, military. Uh, science fiction. Ph pharmacological. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? It's science fact that we can turn a human being into a walking stink bomb. <laughs> yeah. All right. I wouldn't. Uh, I was in the program, says Nico. I escaped. Anyway, yeah. So uh, cannons. Yeah, cannon fodder. Uh, I'll I'll give that one. I'll give that one a four. Yeah. Uh, I I kind of feel like it it could have, I mean it didn't need to. Okay, I'll go out of the way. It, it didn't need to like sh like give us a confirmation on whether or not no, there was didn't. an actual enemy. I mean I kind of makes it fun to talk about. Yeah, I got the impression that you know there probably wasn't, and it was like a a 1984 type of a situation. Um, you know we're oh we're constantly at war, but ain't no fucking war going on. It could have been longer, too. It kind of ended kind of abruptly. I don't know, like, yeah. if they never planned on revealing it to you, like, what more did they have to to tell you? It's just kind of a sad story about this guy who's fucking working himself to death. This family, actually, because the mom's in the fucking bullet factory, too. In the factory, too. yeah. Yeah, and then this kid... And the kid's just aspiring to be... Not his dad. Older. <laughs> the dad Not knows, dad, too, that yeah. the kid's just going to grow up to be another drone. Oh, yeah, you're right, because yeah, at the beginning, he was, like, walking around like the guy that was going to press the button. Yeah. He wanted to be the button guy. I mean, he straight up uh, said, you know, fuck, fuck my dad and his embarrassing job. I'm going to be the guy yeah. who shoots the cannon. That was, a good, that was a good one. I really liked that yeah. one. It was really bleak. Ah, yeah, I was right. Magnetic Rose, the script was uh, by Satoshi Kon, and that makes total sense. That totally sounds like something. It's a good script that he would write. I liked it. And it's based on a story by Otomo. So they're both, they were both involved in that first one. Stink Bomb was done by Madhouse. Oh, that's a good studio. Story by Otomo. 
Jun Miyake uses jazz and funk. That's another thing I'll give to the second uh, segment. It had really good music. It, it had music. I think yeah. the music throughout was good, too. The operatic singing in Magnetic yeah. Rose was awesome. It was really good. Music was composed by Yoko Kano. I know that name. Largely influenced by Giacomo Puccini's Madama Butterfly. So you're right on that one, Alicia. You know how I know that? No. Because from you... uh, Fatal Attraction. <laughs> oh, I. The only thing I remember from that is her killing that fucking. It was a rabbit, right? Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. Say that like it's cool. Yeah, man. Nah, <laughs> how many rabbits have you? How many rabbits have you boiled, Alicia? You ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no random. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great movie. No, nah, man. I mean, Glenn Close was great at making me never want to be around Glenn Close. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for some reason, that yeah. I don't know if it's because we watched it the most recent, but the the. City of Cannons one is the one I'm thinking about more than all the other ones. Might be because it ended kind of abruptly, but... I, I yeah, think... My, my I think Magnetic yeah. Rose. yeah, by a mile, I think Magnetic Rose was the best one. I think the story hits me more on the Cannon one. No, It's closer to home, I you mean, know? just like, the, the mundaneness of it. Yeah. I'm not a salvager. Work life, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a salvager <laughs> in space getting seduced by a fucking hologram. I am! I am a guy <laughs> loading a cannon and unclogging a toilet. Alicia lured me into her opera tonight. That is cool with the rose petals in the end. That means that. That was really cool. Game. I wonder if uh, at the beginning in the scrapyard, it, you could tell that it was like a fucked up looking rose. Overall, I think I'd give it like what, like a four and a half or something. It's pretty, pretty good. Or anthology. Yeah, as like as a film. Mm. If I give it an averages, it's gonna be a three out of five because that one in the middle was fucking dog shit. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I give it. Four. Yeah, I would be high three though. It'd be like three point eight. Yeah, four. baby. Why yeah. are you celebrating like that? Fucking did anything <laughs> to middle one for you? He's the right on the middle one. I can't get past. Him. It's not. A, it's not a one. I think saying that fucking that it's a one is ludicrous. I think saying it's no. anything above a one is ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, look, look at the way those cars are rendered. Oh, the fart cloud. Oh my god. I can't play it. Tubi won't let me play it, but don't make me watch this again. <laughs>